Hello ladies and gentlemen, Willie here. You will never guess what has happened. Well, actually you probably will. Not even 24 hours after the last video about New World, the gift that keeps on giving is carrying on, and are back at it again with even more game-breaking bugs, and oh boy, this one is a doozy. Players logging in in the European region following the middle of the day second class customer maintenance were met with the early Christmas present, or maybe a Thanksgiving extension from across the pond, maybe even an early Black Friday blank check. Whatever it is, I and many others logged in this afternoon and found out that I've been gifted 40,000 gold more than I'd had the previous day. Now, I hadn't had anywhere near that much stuff posted on the trading post. In fact, I had legitimately zero ideas of where this wealth could have possibly come from. But then I see people starting to talk in the global chat. I've got 100,000 extra, 200,000, unreal I thought. So, of course I hopped over to the forums as one does, and sure enough dozens of posts within the next hour began pouring in corroborating these claims. In fact one of the first posts to pop up had a rather unfortunately timed community moderator congratulating them on their newfound wealth. Amazon somehow some way have managed to gift players across European servers millions upon millions of gold. Within the space of learning this, I hopped over to the trading post of course, but every single high-end resource had been bought out, the glittering ebony, phoenix weave, all the crafting trophies within the space of a few minutes. And then they start getting relisted, Asmodium for 7,000 gold apiece, people selling random items for thousands in chats, others emptied the trading post of every single item possible and started to level up their trade skills. And just to reiterate, the gold cap in the game for a player is 500k and some players were reporting being given up to 400,000 gold. So how did this happen? Well, it looks like a change with today's patch, where they say companies will have a one-time reimbursement for any war declarations made since November 1.1 update. Similarly, they'll receive reimbursement for any station downgrades, and players will receive a one-time reimbursement for housing taxes paid since our November update. This was put in place due to many servers experiencing time skipping forwards in-game, which was another issue I didn't even manage to include in the last video. So for example, you go and pay your housing tax on Monday, then on Tuesday the server for some reason goes a week forwards and you had to pay it again or you couldn't use your fast travel trophies and so on. So these gold values we've been given was compensation for the last mistake which ended up creating another one that have led to the EU servers being put back into maintenance only a few hours after they were up. Now there have been bugs in the past, I mean there still are, but there used to be as well. There have been item dupes. Amazon say that 98% of the golden items were removed when that happens, but for this, it turns out as news has just rolled in, they will be doing the first rollback for all affected characters in the European Central Region. Another unfortunate series of events for New World and Amazon Game Studios, who's betting the rollback is just going to have its own new set of issues. The game's rapid decline in player base and frankly just faith in the competency of the developer is showing absolutely no signs of stopping at this point. I've never seen a game take a direction into the wall at such a fast pace as this. Each patch has been a new problem that leads to downtime, that leads to a fix, that leads to new problems. It's only been two months now, really, that short a space of time, and here we are, just a constant stream of drama and issues. Regardless, if anything, for me it's like a sense of morbid curiosity just keeping me interested now. I want to see where this thing all ends up, and how much of a lesson will be, and something to look at going back potentially. That's everything though, it's just a quick one, but... There's so much to keep up with this game that it feels absolutely non-stop. So if you're in EU, hopefully we can log in later. If not, well, I guess we have to go elsewhere. As always, guys, thank you all so much for watching and listening in. I shall see you all in the next one very soon.